Hello again, squaddies, and welcome back once again to Season 2 of Who Called in the Fleet. As always, I am D, and unfortunately, I think the only way I'm going to take Hor Horupta is to attack it with a combined force. Did I ever actually... Yeah, I did. This thing needs repairs, but I don't have the cash for that. Can't. This also needs repairs, so we're gonna go ahead and end my turn. Hopefully I don't just instantly lose everything because I'm out of money. I'm gonna if I'm gaining back money. Put you over there in Nephora. Starlight Sisters. Yeah, okay, at 100 I could actually, in theory. What about Stavantium? Stop that. One of my cats is in my lap and... Kawat Rift. Okay, I get 65 upgrade there. Kandora. So I'd have to, I want to upgrade the Kawat Rift first. Alright, I hate to do this, but actually, you know what? No. Visa the Borg is going to stay where he is. Anomides and Amarkan. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Full attack. Oh, wait. Uh, what is this? What is that? Is it just. Oh, that's a minefield, I'm guessing. So I can't actually have all three of my fleets there. Alright, so I've got a combined of 603. They've got a combined of 536. So in theory, I should have an advantage. Alright, world leaders and iron warriors. Get down. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, my, my cats like to cuddle, so... So I do have slightly more leadership than I'm allowed to use, but yeah. <sighs> Luckily, chaos ships are actually pretty similar to Imperium ships. Whereas Necron are, as we've seen, quite different. Oh, don't crash on me. There we go. Okay. Okay, so this is a, another cruiser clash, which is good. Run silent. Everybody at 4.5. Actually, what is the Time Walkers? 9,000 to the sides. 13,000 to the front. Actually, in that case, you, my Kopesh, what is, this is 9,000 to the front. 9,000 to two at most. This is 9,000. Okay, so everything but the Time Walker. Whoa, what? That's a new one. Park whip hit spreads close. And. 
Okay, the Time Walker is officially an awesome ship. What about the Everlasting Herald? Shards of Neandra Zatha, each has a fireboard, alright. And damage caused by asteroid fields, minefields, and spore fields is nullified. Okay, so I don't have to worry. I don't. I was urging on that because uh, I was worried about uh, the asteroid field. But with the with the with the everlasting herald on board around, it's not a big deal. Why do I only see one ship? Oh, bugger. Well, that was quick. Focus fire on weaponry. That's a secondary target. That is a destroyer. I don't care about that so much. Thunderbolt, just fire it. You two go after that. Activate Scarab Swarm. Get in close. Did you actually... Oh crap, the deck. The deck took a hit. That was a bad timing. Okay, that's actually still the transdimensional thunderbolt. Oh great, my deck just got destroyed. You know what? So that means I still have. Alright, so the identification range isn't down. I can't use Scarab Swarm. Fire the Transdimensional Thunderbolt. You know what? Target the engines. Luckily, even having a mutiny like that reversed, or even not even as long as even if I'm not directly targeting the enemy. All right, they've got one more ship coming in. Problem is, I've got nothing left in the tank. Where are these asteroids coming in? Inferior vessel sighted. Ready to serve. I can't really bother I can't really bother with the transdimensional thunderbolt right now. Target the engines on that thing. I think that's that one's got some range on it. Okay, there's would be Asteroids are coming in. I serve your glory. Inferior vessel. 
<laughs> no, you're not getting away from me that easily. for the generators, disable the shields. Speaking of... Alright, we destroy... Actually, let's, take, let's target their, their deck. Behind it, because I'm pretty sure that these things have weaker armor on the rear. No, they've got universally decent armor. Your cruise mutiny isn't going to do jack. Because... <laughs> that was the end of that fight. I took quite a bit of hitting, but... What I need to do right now is use the 200 I just got and repair. I lost one ship. So close. So I lost the Relentless Watcher Dirge. Ooh, and these guys, the Time time Walker and the Escort, that Escort Jackal leveled up. That's not the one. It's co-op riff. That's what I need to upgrade. There we go. Now I'm gaining money every turn because the crown world now gives me sixty. All right. All right. So I do want to take this place, but not yet because I need to heal up, and I don't have any. I don't have any movement left. They have yet to actually attack me directly. I've noticed. So they've reinforced there. They've got a station. Well, not a station, but they've got a. They've got defense platforms. Slightly engulfed. Him mean, slightly engulfed in minor battles and little drawbacks. Enemies take advantage of this breach. The level for every enemy faction is raised by one. That doesn't. I was going to say, I technically should already. Actually, I guess that technically already applied. Alright, so that's 368. This has 344. Vistelborg has 344. Do I have enough for a new ship for him? 
so he's got two light cruisers. Okay, at the Kawa Rift, I, I don't have the money for it, but... Let's get a Jackal. What? Oh, it's because he, he has a fleet light. His, his fleet light would be too high then. Can I get a new one for him? For uh, a Marcon? Technically, yes, but I'm not going to just yet. Alright, I'm actually not. Uh, you know what? A Marcon. And Anomides. Go and take Orten. This entire sector shall soon belong to the Necron. Problem is, that does technically leave me at having only one defender in my at the at the junction. All right, same basic formation. Luckily again, because I have the Everlasting Herald with its phase shifter, all of my fleet ships are immune to a lot of damaging shit. Okay, so the Time Walker is the one with that gigantic, you know, the Gauss Particle with turret, which actually fires outside of detection range. You guys are all going to go to four and a half. Necron ships are actually decently speedy. Alright, so they've got three whole ships. I don't know what they are yet. I'm gonna lose hold I'm gonna lose track of that ship in just a second once it enters this. Okay, so that's actually an escort. That's a that's a line ship, that's a escort. So actually we're gonna swap you guys over to this one. Aim for the generators. What is your command? Except for the everlasting herald. I serve your glory. Okay. Oh, okay, there's actually another line ship that I wasn't noticing. Alright, I'm gonna have the Time Walker go after that. Go the Time Walker's gonna go after the irredeemable, irredeemable Rage. The Oppressor's Gratification is just gonna be ganged up on by... You know what? You're gonna go take care of that. Oh great, that's actually one one thing. Fire transdimensional thunderbolt. might actually end up hitting this other ship. Right, their generator is gone, aim for their engines next. I think that actually did hit. Yeah, it did. Because that thing's missing a good chunk of its HP that I couldn't have done by now. Oh, come on. Shroud strike complete. Critical damage 
Nice. Oh, that's actually their flag. The oppressor's gratification is actually the flagship. Lance batteries, man. Except for you, Omar Khan. Yes, my liege. Moving. What is your command? Again, um, oh great, Omar Khan's weapons got damaged. Now we're going to be engaging the weaponry because fire transdimensional. No disengage. survives. Nothing for the great enemy. And I've run I got leveled up. Plus one command capacity, 450 is my now, now my maximum fleet capacity. My leadership is 675, and I can have carriers along with having an upgrade point. Okay, first order of business. Quickly repair the fleets. Alright, monoliths. Renown earnings by percentages, dynastic treasure, solar harness. Okay. I don't really want to get a new fleet yet, but what I can do is get Vislaborg something. I have 226. You could almost get a scythe harvester, but I can't. But I don't have enough for it. What does this actually have? Two Gauss Particle Whip turrets at a huge range. And four Lightning Arc Battery Weapons. This is Necron Propulsion, which is what we've always, always got. Reactive Hull. Cannot be... F oh, I didn't know that. Cannot be lit on fire. Like critical damage affecting it are cancelled after one minute. Ship is one hull point per second. Oh, it's maximum hull value decreases by one per second. It resets after battle. Ship benefits from a basic 50% uh, plus 50 bravery bonus. That's just the extra boarding range. So, 
supporting party deals 2 troop damage, and circle strike. 6 percent deal 1 additional damage. Troop damage for each assault action applied. Alright. How much is this thing? Uh, he's got a cartouche and a shroud, and if I give him a kaltash, yeah, that's too much. So, for right now, because uh, they've got 535 that they can bring. Recalls, scripts, when we can update Provino. You know. Let's go ahead and get a new sh Let's just go ahead and add an escort ship to Visla Borg. Is that a jackal? So he's got a 403 value sh uh, fleet. Do I actually have enough now? No, I don't. Okay, I need. I'm gonna build up and get a. I'm gonna build up to the money I need 291 which is going to be a while it's going to be 3 turns and ha and get a Marken a cruiser alright Chaos really doesn't seem interested in anything in actually you know doing anything out of Hydrocordatus it might just be the fact that this is you know the starting Take that. Right, so I do have three things I could do here. But I want to wait. That's still going to be three turns ish. Okay, they reinforced. This is going to be a long one because I can actually finish the system today. Not going to do that. Oh great, there goes my chance of doing three on one. Okay, they're gonna attack. Or are they? Oh, I forgot to do this. So okay, let's see, I can get rotation speed of ship by five degrees per second for all ships. All ships have 10% cooldown on command and stances. Escort ships have 25 extra HP. Lightning Arc's critical chance by 100% against enemy ships which have been marked using scanners. There's a Star Pulse Generator, I don't have that. 4,500 extra range on lightning strikes. Hull Cutter Resistant Effects are increased by 1 point it's when the ship is not moving. Or, ships weapon damage to enemy shields are raised by 10%. Let's get more. Let's get living metal substructure for now. Can I actually? It's two ninety one, wasn't it? Yeah, two ninety one for the scythe harvester. Where does it actually tell me how much it's going to be? Like how much? See this one fifty-five. Not at the moment, actually. Once I've got the money for it, I'm gonna do that. All right, so they're gonna send one ship. This is not going to go well for you. One Black Legion, the first Black Legion fleet. Destruction is a means, not an end. <laughs> it's debatable.
Cultural Supremacy there, Cryptex Glyph there, Time Walker down the middle. Alright, real quick actually, uh, let's do that. Four and a half, except for the Time Walker. Alright, so this is the one that gives only abilities to itself. What is the Perpetual, Supre Perpetual Supremacy doesn't give that? Alright, we do Arc Propagator and Nightmare Shroud. Alright, so those are again just things only applying to the flagships. And it looks like another cruiser clash, so. Initializing motive power. How may I serve? Bring terror on sea. Okay, more giant asteroids. In that case, we're going to... Luckily, I do still have the scan. Okay, the giant meteor is giant asteroids are not coming down anywhere near me. These are both, yeah, both are these. Reborn Madness and the Everlasting Glaive are both jackals. What the? Almost there. It said three ships traveling in a direct line. Do I have only one transdimensional thunderbolt? Damn. Instantly. Tons of damage. You two, go after that. Damn, I missed the... What I was trying to do there was get the probe to latch on. This is going well. Unfortunately, this one is. So that one, this has like this thing has no engines, no shields. Let's see if we can dis just disable the weapons. Actually, you know what? I got a better idea. Fire another transdimensional thunderbolt. Have the time walker do that. 
launch the Scarab Swarm. Everything on the Scream of Hatred. Like I said, this is going to be a bit of a longer episode, just because I want to finish this system. Surprising seen the Cryptex Glyph leveled up. Eleven turns. Right, no repairs needed there. No repairs there. No repairs needed there. Alright, what I'm going to do, like I said, new ship. Actually, I can't even do that, so. Get a cartouche. And a jackal. Alright, so now I'm gonna launch my two strongest fleets. Well, actually, first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade Trigorium. We're going to take Hydrocordatus. Thirteenth Red Corsairs fleet. This shouldn't be too difficult. Ah, uh, the Tyranids eating the towel. Auto engage, 9,000 units for everybody. Make sure you know it's 4,500 for everybody except the Time Walker, which is at 9,000. We don't want to go through there. What? Oh, it's a control point! This is a capture point mission. You three are going after that one, which is actually held by... Okay, that's what it is. They're held by the enemy has defense, uh, defense area. platforms. The enemy has seized a strategic area. So that's how, that's how defense platforms work in this situation. Good to know. Actually, uh, Zapanex Glyph, you're gonna stop there. As is the Time Walker. Cryptex Glyph is gonna head over to the other one. Thank you. No. Turn off auto engage.
Which one of you has, uh... Transdimensional is on Cryptex. I mean, I guess what I could have done was just replace, uh, get the, get the full cruiser, and then, you have seized a strategic area. and basically replaced all of Amarco's fleet with it. But really, I'd rather not have to do that. Get a... Oh, there's actually a fifth point I didn't notice. Shank. You know what? You guys are actually going to become group two. All power to motive units. My motive is destroying these chaos, ba these chaos bastards. Seized a strategic area. How may I solve? Ah, oh, damn it. I was going to activate the reload stance, but for one minute, that's un I'm unable to do that. Okay, so the deck of Cryptex Glyph is gone. That's bad news, but... I didn't... Damn it, I didn't actually take that point. Oh, damn it. Cryptex Glyph is not doing well in this fight. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. I serve your glory. Yeah, I was gonna do a... Yes, my liege. I was thinking about doing a lightning strike, but... Alright, missing Zopanex Glyph out to that. I am the dearest sphere. Cat, what do you want? Oh, they're... Damn it, that's what I thought they were going to be doing. Transdimensional Thunderbolt. Hopefully that hits. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. You know what? Because if you actually destroy all the enemies, wait, it doesn't matter. Okay. Where is the perpetual supremacy? I am the dearest spear. I serve your glory. How may I serve? What is 
storm come on. Oh great, a Markin's deck is taking damage as well. Accumulated fifty per cent of strategic points. Inferior vessels sighted. One good hit. Oh, right, I forgot about the I forgot about those. I legitimately forgot these two things, these two platforms were still existing. Launch the Scarab Swarm to repair our troops. If you don't bring yourself in to 4500, I'm Arkan. Launch the, launch the tomb, attack the uh, boarding action. You have accumulated 25% of strategic points. Impossible. No, it isn't. Ready to serve. Enemy vessels suffered critical damage. <laughs> no casualties on these. Not that I have a re I was, I was actually thinking of the resurrection orb, but I don't have one, so. And there's the victory. Hydrocordatus is mine. Time Walker levels up. The Jackal leveled up. Okay, so the inertialist drive of the Cryptex Glyph failed. That's bad news. But we took Hydrocordatus, which is the ultimate goal. So. Intruders are dust, great one. Excellent. You exceed my expectations. You have delivered the lessons in respect and caution this day. And if those lessons are not taken to heart, all who oppose my will shall perish. Indeed, the recent awakenings have drawn mankind to no. I, the servants of the formless horror, will not be far behind. We shall be ready. Indeed. I cede command of a new fleet to aid your mothers. Cool, so... Ordered 300 Renown points. Necron fleet has arrived and reinforcement will be deployed in the Kawat Rift system on the Sentinel World sector or in the closest system available. Number of turns before a new Necron leader is proposed is reduced by one. Oh, cool. 
Thero Kefrek of the recent Wukun Nefru dynasty has commanded his Nemesaur, a mark the Gatherer, to restore supremacy in the dynasty over long lost systems of the Sentinel world. The boundaries of this sector chief at me. Is it proper that an eminence such as mine be thus confined? It is not, Great One. Then we are of one mind. Reclaim the neighboring Dolan Gate, so that distant worlds might come to know my greatness. It shall be as you command. Tread carefully, Nemesis. So forth I move is likely to draw the gaze of the Andari. Do you question our Pharaoh's command? I merely counsel caution. Arrogance is a poor shield. I cannot defy the Great One. His will is supreme. As you wish, Nevisor. As you wish. Alright, so we're into the Forgotten Dolmen quest. Or mission. Pharaoh and Kefrak has commanded a mark in the gathered to reactivate the dormant Dolmen gate in the Resonor systems. We'll allow the expansion of the Neferi's power to the Chinchar sector, despite the Eldari's menacing presence in the area. Objectives capture the Resonor system in the Chinchar sector. We can now use the Galaxy View to navigate through different sectors of the, of the Aegis Ocularis. To assign the Gal to access the Galaxy View, view use the scroll wheel, mouse scroll down on the campaign map. Hold it up. Over sector view in. Zoom in. We're gonna take a quick look at the galaxy view, which is kinda pretty. You can navigate through different sectors the Aegis Ocularis, access the galaxy view, use the mouse scroll down. Yes, yes, I know. Alright, so there's Chin we're in the Sentinel Worlds right now. We'll have to go to the Chin Chair sector. But first off we have to get to Resnor, which do I I mean I own every system in the sector. I don't even know where Resnor is. Oh, this is also our new fleet, which has pyramidal reconstruction, all light critical and heavy critical effects on all Necron ships within 9,000 units of the flagship, and a mass recall. Also, this phase shifter. Don't bite me! And residual absorption. Okay, so that's good news. Alright, we will deal with all of this next time. Squaddies, because this episode is done. We're gonna go. Didn't mean to quite do that, but no, whatever. If you enjoyed, please sure to like or favorite. You can like the drop a like on the video. You can also leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say. And of course, if you want to keep up with me, never send my current series, and consider joining the squadron by subscribing to the channel. That does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. As for that, squaddies, I have been D. The Sentinel worlds now belong to the Neferu dynasty. Next, we're moving on to the Chinchair sector through the Resnor system. Until then, good night and good gaming.